The hunting industry is leaning harder and harder into cellular cameras, and I really think they should. Now they should keep making those normal, reliable cameras because there's always gonna be those areas that don't get good cell coverage. But cell cams allow us to gather pretty close to real-time information on our hunting spots. They allow us to keep an eye on those remote hunting properties that we can't keep an eye on all the time. And they allow us to get these good, high-quality images and videos straight to our smartphones, our tablets, and our computers. Not to mention that it helps us keep our scent level down, helps keep us from disturbing the areas we're most likely going to be hunting in the fall because I don't know about you, but anytime I have a camera out, I just want to know, I have to know what's on those cameras. I, just, I can't stay away. So these cell cams allow me to get that information that I crave so much, but not completely destroy my season because I'm stomping around in there too much. And so in this video, I'm going to give you my two year review on the Moultrie Edge cellular camera. So is this camera worth the hype? Stick around and we'll get into the features, the performance I've had with it over the last two years, and whether or not I think this is worth your investment. But before we get into the review, do me a favor, and if this is your first time on my channel, hit that subscribe button and make sure you click that bell icon so you can be notified every time I upload a video. So getting into the features, the first thing about this is it is not carrier specific. This thing will connect to whichever network is the strongest in the area, and I think that is a huge plus. I should also say that the specific model or version that I'm reviewing is the standard Edge. There's two other models out there now. There's the Edge 2, actually there's three. There's the Edge 2, the Edge Pro, and then the Edge 2 Pro. Each one of them has a little bit different. I think mostly it's the megapixels in the camera, the range, um, and the like the HD video it takes. So the standard Edge model has a 33 megapixel camera and it shoots in 720p video with audio. It's got an 80 foot detection range and has a trigger speed of 0.65 seconds. It's got motion capture, uh, motion plus video, and it's also got time lapse. It'll take a single photo, a three burst, and a three trigger, which I haven't used that one. I had to look that one up. It is, what it's supposed to do is it'll take up to three photos before it sets that detection delay. It's supposed to help cut down on repetitive photos like a branch setting it off. So it uses that AI to detect if that's the same thing popping up, it won't take any more pictures. It has no SD card, so everything is stored in the cloud. You view it on the app uh, through your phone or your tablet, and then you just request the ones you wanna keep. You, you save those to your phone or tablet, and then you can share them from there. So it'll run on eight AA batteries or 16. Uh, the tray pops out and you've got the one side just for eight, and then you flip it around, you can put eight more in there for even longer battery life. Um, it's also got 12 volt plug, that way you can run through a solar or a and another external battery source. But I'll actually show you how I run my cameras that are over my food plots or areas that I, I think are gonna have a bulk of the photos. It's even cheaper than running on normal batteries and it lasts a hell of a lot longer. So you download the Moultrie mobile app on your phone or tablet to view your, your photos and your videos. And setup with that is extremely easy. On the inside is a QR code that scan, it's, identifies the serial number, gets it all set up, you pick your plan, and then you're good to go. Just set it out there and you are taking pictures. So there are three plans to choose from. Each has an annual or monthly option. The annual is gonna end up being cheaper per month, but if you are only running it a couple of months, you only want them out for deer season, you only got one or two cameras, that monthly option is probably gonna be better for you. But if you wanna run them all year, you definitely save money with the annual plan. So the bottom tier, the standard option, gives you a thousand images per month and 10 videos. So the next tier up is the unlimited plan. So it is $16.99 a month or it is $156 for the year. You get unlimited photos and you get 50 videos per month. And so their top tier plan is the Pro Series and you get the exact same thing as you get in the Pro. Unlimited photos, 50 videos. But what sets it apart is if you've got more than just a couple of cameras, you got three plus cameras, it costs you $34.99 a month or it is $276 for the year. It, for each additional camera of, other than the, that first one, it's only $8 more. So if you've got, you got the $276 for the year for one camera, let's say you've got four cameras, it only costs you $300 to run all four cameras all year long, unlimited photos per month and 50 videos. So if you're wanting to really spread out to your property or you wanna monitor areas all year long, that pro version is really gonna be your best bet. And that's pretty much what I'm gonna do this year. I'm gonna buy, actually I've got three 
Moultrie edge cameras and that kind of gives away my thought process on if I think the edge is a good camera but I've got three of them and I'm going to get at least one more and so after deer season I'm going to move them off my food plots and you know travel corridors and stuff like that I'm going to move them over to monitoring my property trying to catch for trespassers or anything like that most likely in my case, it's just gonna be neighborhood dogs that I'm gonna have to deal with. And so the photo quality on these cameras is actually pretty good. Like I said, I'm using the, the standard edge, so it's a 33 megapixel camera, and it's even in the app, it shows the standard definition. Uh, it's still pretty good. I mean, you can, it's a little grainy at night, um, but you can still clearly see what it is you're looking at. And you can request that HD version too. It takes a little bit longer. Um, it'll give it to you the next time it sends or it uploads the photos. But you have to keep in mind that that counts as five individual photos. So if you're on that that standard series where you're limited to the thousand images, you kind of have to keep track of that. Video quality is also surprisingly good at that 720p and it also takes audio. Now with the Edge Pro and the Edge 2, those have uh, 1080p video with sound and then the Edge Pro 2 has 4K video. So I, you know, I may get that one. I haven't really decided if I really even need 4K, uh, but those that video quality is just going to get even better. Battery life was pretty decent on eight AA batteries. It didn't last all season, obviously. It lasted about a month or month and a half or something like that over one of my food plots. It's a higher, uh, higher photo count, so it's going to drain pretty fast. I only ever run Energizer batteries in my cameras. They tend to run better for me for some reason. You might have different experience, but that's just the way it works for me. Obviously, for better battery life, you want to run lithiums in them. Uh, whenever I, I, on another food plot, I had, I filled the whole thing up, 16 lithium batteries, and it lasted the whole season. It's very expensive, but it, like I said, ran the whole season, so. So for my cameras that I put over food plots that I, you know, they're going to run a lot of, um, they're going to get a lot of pictures on them, so the battery's going to run down quicker. I actually did something different. I built my own external box, uh, my own external battery source for this, and it ends up looking like this. The can I got from Harbor Freight, just a cheap one, big enough that'll fit um, that battery. And the important part is to make sure you've got this rubber seal on it, uh, keep the water out. If it doesn't have that, change the market range, you'll probably get water down in there and that can ruin everything. Um, the wire and just, you know, you've got those 12 volt plugs that are laying around everywhere. I just snip the ends off and put these plugs on it that go um, on the battery. And then I drilled a hole and used one of these uh, locking grommets. I forget exactly what they're called, but this allows me to extend out only the amount of cord that I need um, and then lock it down. That way I don't have to worry about, you know, squirrels chewing on it or something like that. And then the battery itself is um, expert power, 12 volt, 12 amp hour, um, rechargeable. Um, like I said, I'll put a link to it down in the description below, but this runs this camera all season long, even longer. I, I, I don't even think, I think I put it on my charger when I brought it back after having it out from September to I think the end of January is when I pulled it and it sat on charger for 20 minutes and was topped off. So it's got plenty of power. And then I have the added benefit is I can actually run my sprayers off this. So I think that it's just an added bonus. No more buying batteries for me for all my cameras. So after all that, would I recommend this camera? I think the answer is obviously yes, I would. I wouldn't have bought two more of them if I didn't think they were worth the investment. The standard model, the one I've, I've shown, the Edge, is you can get them on sale for like 80 bucks, 70 bucks a lot of times. Uh, a lot of times you get them in two packs for $100. So I think they're well worth the investment. I, even their, their top line version, the Edge 2 Pro, that's 40 megapixel camera, shoots 4K video, it's $140. Um, and I think that's right along the lines of some other standard cellular cameras. I, you know, they may have the same video quality as well, but I think that's well worth the money. If you've got any specific questions about the cameras or, or anything like that, leave those down in the comments below and I'll try to answer them as quickly as I can. If I see them, you know, I'll try to check, but sometimes YouTube does weird things with comments and, and all that stuff, but I will try to answer them as quickly as I can. I'll also, like I said, leave links down in the description for the camera or for anything that I use to make my uh, battery box. So not only can you pick one up for yourself, but you can also help support the channel in the process. And as always, hit that like button if you like this video, share it if you found it helpful, and make sure that you are subscribed so you can stay informed.